Hello guys and welcome to another stream on my YouTube channel. Today is a stream where I was expecting a loss today, actually. Um, obviously, not a 4-0 thrashing, drumming, whatever you say, whatever you may call it. Uh, you wouldn't think that would be a game where you're fighting for relegation, and you play that shit. You, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have thought that we're in a relegation battle with the way that you know they're playing today. Because you're in a relegation battle. Today was probably the best chance to get some good to get some points on the table. Because Sheffield Wednesday playing tomorrow is Blackburn, and obviously. Birmingham playing Rotherham. I mean, Birmingham were one they up at that point at one point. Oh, like, oh great! You know. But um, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm I'm absolutely furious. I, there are those players. Oh, some of those players I just don't want to see on the pitch ever again. Berzog. Oh, don't want to see him on my. I don't want to see him on the pitch ever again. He is absolutely horrendous. It's the most greedy player we've had, and I think that's it. Sam Lapara. I think that's the very first statement. But I do have uh, Chris, <coughs> who's going to be joining me just now. Um, let's see if I can come and get you on. I saw you leave early, and do you know what? I don't actually blame you. I don't blame anyone for going to early today. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to bring Chris on the stream. Are you there, Chris? I am, but uh, can you see? No, I, I, I can see you, but you can't see me. Yeah, no, I can't see you. Is your camera turned around or? Oh, maybe uh, it, it. Maybe it is. Uh, I did film a video not long ago to send to a friend, you know, and it the camera was facing me. All oh, right. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Something. Something isn't going right here, isn't it? Let's see if I can get you. Uh, I might have to use my phone instead, you know. This is, I'm trying with my iPad here. All right, okay. Uh, do you want to go off then, Chris, and then come back? Um, yes, I will, I will, I will be back trying on my phone. This is the iPad I'm messing with yet. I did, like I said, I did film a video to send to a friend, a hilarious video, you know, and the camera was facing me, you know, that could have been affecting this. Uh, All right, then we'll see. Okay, see if I'll I can... see you shortly. Uh, Do you know that's what Tyron have done to me today? They're absolutely boring me out. There are players on that pitch I do not want to see step foot on our pitch ever again. I, d I just feel like resigned. We've resigned ourselves now. The players have resigned themselves. I mean, the fans probably resigned themselves oh, a while ago. But with the way that they were playing, is absolutely horrific. 4-0, 4-0, and I mean, all late in the game as well, they weren't like spread out, they were all in one massive lump. Great goals though, I mean, I, I clapped, I clapped uh, the last one, the 4-0, and uh, that was a beautiful goal, right in, it was an absolute scorch, I reckon I should go for down for goal of the day, and I just... <sighs> I, I'm, I'm shook for words because I do, I'm just thinking now was next week and tomorrow Sheffield Wednesday could easily pull a result out against Blackburn I mean any time I reckon they would and I reckon they can Chris I'm going to add you back I can see you now I'm going to add you onto the stream yep I I, I am I am here now uh, let's commit let's commence talking Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I am here. Sorry about that, Chris. I, yeah, my mum, my mum came to speak to me. So yeah, Something I thought, I thought, I thought me after me having problems, the the, the problems then started to go to you. Then and you were starting. No, 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 no. My mine's all good. Sorry, Chris. What were you? What were you finish off what you were saying? You were saying. Uh, yeah, right. Let's commence now talking. Hello, audience. We were expecting to be here right now. Uh, we, it wasn't scheduled right for, for, for this time now. We were meant to be doing it 24 hours from now on Sunday night, but Josh really felt the need to get words off his chest and just get a discussion going between both of us. He's at, he, he, he felt that we had to talk tonight rather than tomorrow night because he's just so damn fuming after what he saw. Yeah, He's right, you know. He, you know he, he's right to be fuming, you know. <laughs> You cannot survive playing passionless and toothless like that today. I, w I wasn't seeing, a, 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 I was I was seeing a defeat coming, but not by that scoreline and in, in that and that manner. For fuck's sake, we you can't play like that, passionless, toothless. They weren't playing for the badge. It looks like they they, they were accepting their fate that they didn't give a, a, a fuck in the world. And that they, that that they were thinking about their holidays and uh, the clubs that are going to take them on. If there's any <laughs> sad fuckers out, out there willing to take mm. them on, uh, it, that that bunch of players they're not worthy of the badge of the shirt. Uh, and Bergsorg totally agree. Send that, send him back to Germany, back to that club there he came from in Germany, so he can start eating his German Frankfurters again. A, ja a German Frankfurter would do a lot better job on the pitch than him. He is greedy. He, he's a greedy sod. He likes to make it all about himself, you know. He's a he, he's a weird he's a weird character. No wonder he had an he's, argument. He is a weird character. But it's just like he, he he wants respect. You can't get respect by showing that uh, yeah, yeah. shy. It, 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 acting like a prat like that. He, on the pitch, yeah, he he doesn't act he doesn't act professionally, you know, to earn the respect. He's got to earn the respect in the right way, uh, uh, acting in a professional manner, and he doesn't act in a professional manner. I even think Van Lepara was oh. better. I, I even think that Van Lepara was a better player than fucking Bergzog. I genuinely, think, I think we could genuinely agree on this, you know. Can we prize that the, yeah. that both Van Lepara beats? Van I never Bergzog. thought I'd see uh, uh, as equally as a as a greedy player. You know, uh, League One next season do not justify getting him in any way. He wouldn't even cut the, he wouldn't even cut the mustard even in the third tier of this country. Never mind the championship. He can for all for all week. He can go back to Germany and eat start eating his German Frankfurters again. Bergsorg, yeah, Bergsorg, fuck off. Get back to get back to Germany. He's shit. He is so shit. He's the most he frustrating is. person I've had. We've had in our club for a long, uh, uh, long time. Uh, uh, I'm going to go. Uh, Aiden Tate has uh, put a comment. He's put. Uh, what was Pearson doing for the first goal? He actually looked forward instead of looking at the ball. In fact, Pearson is too slow. Everyone doesn't care. You wouldn't think we're a team fighting. Uh, our fate is not sealed. But it, it it is very much sealed. It, it's very much close to being sealed. Absolutely, we deserve to go down. We need to have a. I, I, like again, I've had this desire to have new grounds and to go, to have a taste of League One because I weren't doing my away travelling back in twenty eleven before twenty eleven like I do now <laughs> these days. But I think this club also deserves the drop for a reset. And always constantly back, back, back in uh, uh, fighting this drop in this league. We're out of our depth in this league. Again, we showed, you know, why we're out of our depth in this league. We can't compete. We deserve to go down. We need to have a reset and we need to get rid of the, of the coward, uh, of the absolute, cl uh, absolute clowns, Edwards and Cartwright. Do not trust them at all. Uh, uh, Mr. Nagel, do not trust them at all. Uh, those pair of, of idiots uh, with a League One uh, rebuild project because. If they stay, fit, we'll be talking again about more, more negatives. If those two stay there for League One, those two have to fuck off. They have to be given their match in orders by Nagel. Nagel is a man of serious words. He lo he wants to really be a man of success, and he's given many encouraging words. But those two, Cartwright and Edward, the clowns, they are ba they badly advise Nagel, and Nagel needs to get better people in those positions. You know. You know, because we can't, you know. I totally agree. And also, 
uh, Dom Cox has put, uh, I think he's a Birmingham fan, he says, you'll beat us next week, regardless. Um, sad, sadly, we're both going down. Uh, uh, Look, well, well... Uh, more draw, in my he, opinion. He, well, he, has a, he might have a small point because he's taking into account right now what the table looks like, you know. You know, it, it, we've got to still wait for Sheffield Wednesday to see what they do at Blackburn Rovers next yeah. week tomorrow. But I, I think Blackburn, Blackburn, I think they beat. I think they beat uh, tomorrow. They beat Wednesday because they're going into Ansa Chai because they beat Leeds last week. Uh, uh, they beat Leeds. Uh, uh, uh. Do you know what I think? We're we're absolutely down. There's no hope to cling on to, even though mathematically it's not confirmed. It's all but sealed. They're very close. I just don't think there's any hope to cling on to. If we can't beat, it can't beat Bert Swansea. How the fucking hell can we beat Birmingham? Honestly, even though they didn't beat uh, Rotherham today, they did the same thing as us. Couldn't beat, but uh, couldn't beat Rotherham. But I just don't think there's any hope to cling on to that group of players. That couldn't give a flying fuck about the club. They've accepted their fate. They don't care. They're thinking about their holidays and they're thinking about. Who else? Who else is going to take them on? You know, who's stupid enough to take them on? You know, uh, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to all the new grounds next season. Aiden, <laughs> Aiden's put a comment on saying Swansea's number ten changed the game for them. But do you know what actually I... changed the game? Do you know what actually changed the game? Hmm? Maitos. He weren't great. He wasn't great by any standard. He wasn't great, but he was a rock in our midfield. And as soon as we take him off, and not only is it the first yeah. time, it's now the second time where we take yeah. him off. Yeah. And the, the, the midfield is just collapses. It just collapses. Yeah. The whole midfield just collapses. Yeah. So why? why what Brian Wright, I need to have learned mm. that from the mm. first time he took him off. I, right? I don't... Do you know what? The pot. You know what? This certain person on Twitter said he, he, don't, he don't think Brighton Wright's the right man. You know, for he's the for same. The exp- he's got the same amount of experience as Darren Moore. And I was like, "Oh, he's so experienced in in German. Like, he's Germany. Come on." Someone called someone called Germany. Neo. Someone called Neo. <coughs> really, really thinks with his tweet, with his tweet, his post that is not. You know what? He might have an impressive CV from what he's done elsewhere, but this is England. This is the Championship. Total different kettle of fish compared to what he's done. And obviously, the championship is really teaching him. You know, I don't think he, he's the right man. He, he might well not be the right man, you know, in for a League One campaign next season, you know, which is happening, by the way. It is happening. It's just. I think not... he would be the right man to keep us forward. But I, we'd have to seriously consider so you so could you, take him over. So you just think he needs to be given the the ammunition, the players, you know, a better group, you know. Yeah, he has. Look, he's he's walked into a broken team. He's walked into a broken club. I mean, you can say the same about Darren Moore, but at the end of the day, he's got the same experience as Darren Moore, right? It's like Darren Moore. Darren Moore is a League One quality man. Well, he's not now, is he? He's League bloody two or League League Two or something. So Port got re- Port Vale Port relegated. Vale. Port Vale got relegated. Did they get re- relegated today, Port Vale, my fellow League One predictor? Yeah, they did. They did get relegated. So, um... Oh, Darren Mower. Darren Mower. Darren Power. Darren Power. Darren, Darren Power. You've got a Le- League One relegation on your fucking CV. Darren, Darren Power. He's dreadful. But the thing is, and Brighton right here is no more or less experienced than Brighton right in my opinion. Um... Now I'm going to put uh, Chef Dom, Dom Cox, but uh, Chef Wednesday, the only ones with some fight. Losing Huddersfield will go down to get go down to get. Yeah, you will. Probably, you never. Agree, well, but... you never. Well, well. If tomorrow, yeah, my fellow League One predictor, if when Wednesday, go to Ewood Park, and just get a result, yeah. Despite <laughs> despite the you the euphoria of what Blackburn achieved last week at Leeds. I, I descend, uh, descend us into descend uh, Birmingham back into the bottom three, don't they? And then we're, we're second bottom, and they're uh, we're second uh, from bottom, and they're third. For, uh, right, just I think we just need to. I just need to have a look at a table just to confirm yeah. this. Absolute, absolute yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely. Please just do, to, please do. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at that that funny looking table for me because I know <laughs> because I know we deserve what 
fate at box coming our way. But let's just confirm this Birmingham situation. Right, Birmingham, just above the dotted line. We're below the line and we're staying below the line. We're in 22nd, yeah. 23rd are Sheffield Wednesday. They've got one game in hand on both of us. Uh, us and, Burn and Birmingham City. We've got so a game Burn in hand. Well, 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 Birmingham played 44 games, same as us. 44 as well for us. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, they have that one game in hand because obviously... Oh, man, I didn't realise they had a game in hand. That's, well, that's no, yeah, you, well, that's because Sky picked the game. It's on Sky Television tomorrow. And and when they play that game tomorrow, then they'll have played 44 games also with us and Birmingham. So, 46 points, Birmingham, above the line. Huddersfield, Shite Town, or Hudders, Hudders Downtown, whatever you want to... 44 points, yeah. And Sheffield Wednesday, 44. So, if they win today win tomorrow, they can jump to 47 and get above Birmingham into 21st, send Birmingham down at 22nd and send us down at 23rd. So, a win tomorrow at Ewood Park, and who are being backed by a, or a wonderfully amount of over 7,000 Wednesday fans. Yeah, if they just win, they get to 47 points and they send mm. Birmingham into and they send Birmingham then into the bottom three and send us one further depth place down. Does that mean if we draw, if let's just say if Sheffield Wednesday do win tomorrow, we mm. we go down if we don't win, pretty much. Uh, right. I've, I, I, if we uh, don't, if we if 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 we lose to Birmingham or draw, or where does that put? Because obviously, if we draw to Birmingham, does that put Birmingham? Uh, uh, I, want to read, I want to. Do you know Stephen Kentucky Fried Chicken and the Pizza Hut? You know, you know Stephen Chicken journalist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I subscribe to his We Are Terriers, you, uh, you, you know, uh, and I, I'm, I just want to see, uh, he, he put at the top in the subject, yeah, five conclusions. Do you know he does five conclusions? He put yeah. five, five conclusions, colon, black hole opening wide to welcome Huddersfield Town. Mm. Well, 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 yes, right. Let you know what? Let's do this. Let's make this a really detailed stream, you know, and we'll go on as long as we. I can fit this all in. Number one, this is his first con conclusion from Stephen Kentucky Fried Chicken and the Pizza Hut. Number one, well, that could be that then. You could smell it in the air, see it on the faces, feel like a punch in the gut. Everybody knew that's... That could be Huddersfield Town all but relegated now. The complete gravity of their situation will become clearer after Sheffield Wednesday's game at against Blackburn tomorrow. But the bottom line is that Town could now be Birmingham next weekend and still go down, especially with such an awful fixture for their final game. And Sheffield Wednesday currently hold a game in hand. Uh, if if Town lose to Birmingham, it will be a mathematical certainty. Rotherham's favour to Town today. Is if we larger. lose to Birmingham, we go down. Yeah, he said. If Town lose really, to, if, if right. Town lose to Birmingham, it, it will be a mathematical certainty. Rotherham's favour for Town today is largely irrelevant. There is no need to add anything else to that. It's all but done, and only a miracle of miracles will save them now. Even A. B. admitted he could understand if the fans have lost belief. Sla number two. Uh, Sliding doors, etc., etc. Town simply had to find a way to win this game, and with 20 minutes to go, that still looked possible. It was a poor first half from Town on the ball, and only just good enough off it against a Swansea side who honestly looked like they were just going uh, through the motions so they could get back on the bus to watch Shrek 2 on the long way home or wh whatever it is that footballers do on buses these days. In truth, we felt Brighton Wright could have made his first change at the break. It was evident that. Delano Berg's always having one of those games from the moment he failed to offer Sob Thomas a, a proper run to pick out in the box at the end of a counter-attack, twice holding back his run to allow Swanza to move to, to defend the move far too easily. A more incremental approach to Brighton Wright's changes might have allowed Town, Town to tip to dip a toe into the water first before diving headlong into that trio of changes. But with the early evidence was that his triple substitution might pay off with Town immediately looking more of a threat, but you could pinpoint the moments that the, the belief went out of them. It wasn't a great opening where Bergzog moronically shot straight at a defender after rounding the goalkeeper, despite 
Karoma and Radone both screaming for the square ball for a spell that seemed to inspire them to push on with even great determination. Oh, he, he does write a lot, you know. I'm sorry. The first of a hammer of the hammer blow moments that came and when was when Thomas did so well to get up the right and cross only for Karoma to lean back and curl the ball over the bar from close range. With that, the opportunity came to get the opening goal was gone. Swansea took the lead themselves just four minutes later. Danny Ward had just been four millimetres more accurate with his shot six minutes later after good high pressing from Madoni Kazumo. The story might have been might have changed then. Uh, an equaliser 11 minutes from time with an, another nine minutes of stoppage time to come could have finally given increasingly desperate group of players the adrenaline shot they needed to push for a winner. Instead, if you look closely, you could see the players' spirits leave their bodies and fly off into the spring fresh air. One goal became two, uh, uh, that become three, two become four, three, three, three. Be, be, became, became four, with the greatest of ease for the visitors, as now been the case nine times this season. Never in this club's history have they conceded so heavily, more often in a single season. Yeah. Oh, I don't... He, he really does write a lot, you know. I think we get where he's coming from, you know. Aidan Tate's put a, quite a good comment on that. I only just read a little bit. You see... Everyone's saying, come and, support, come and support us. We need you behind us on Saturday. Well, show us that you deserve this. this Do you know what? They don't deserve it. They don't deserve you know, Aiden, 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 it's absolutely... They were putting out, during the week before this humiliation, they were putting out a lot of cheesy stuff telling them to get behind them, you know, to get people to come. What's the point in doing that if the fucking group on the pitch, yeah, that... who, Yeah... Who we try to back, they don't then give back to us. Then they give us nothing, yeah. you know, you know, to get animated about and and get behind, you know. Oh, in football, in football, people fans can only give so much, and and then it's up to the group. Yeah, yeah. They, they they're kicking, they're kicking a fucking ball of air around the, the pitch, yeah, the grass, yeah, and they're going to still get the same damn wages after that four nil drubbing. <laughs> Footballers have such an easy life that they, if it was in any other profession that they worked in, and if they got reached that low in their standards in other jobs, they would fucking not get the paid. It's too and easy it's as a as, as a professional footballer, professional athlete, to not reach the standards that we expect to see, and then they still get the same pay packet. It to them, it's just a wage. <laughs> That's why they don't. To them, it's just a wage. That's why they don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's just a wage. Why, why, it's not why something they, that we used to watch, but obviously. You know the team mentality when we went up to the prem that season. It were it were great. I've I've I felt the most connected to the team. That, I, that, I, that's I, when I, that's when they that that's when those were times when they really connected us. When they did really give a fuck. When they really wanted to play for the badge and achieve good times. You know, but this bunch, they're a sorry. They they're just a a, a group. You know that just don't look like they just don't want to play for the badge. They're thinking of their holidays and they just don't care. You know about the direction which they do know the club they're playing for at the moment is heading. So what I, f I just feel sorry for like players like Hog because mm. look he he he, ha he has seen much better times, but even him, as much as we've seen his leadership skills before, even he can't lift this group of pathetic shit players. I oh, know. But uh, I feel like, yeah. you know, Matos, in my opinion now, is, is hugely changed. Matos is by far our most important player on the pitch. We're not getting him back next season in a League oh, One no, campaign. No, no, no. Of course not. You, no, no way. Can, can I just do this, you know? Uh, uh, the League One logo. Kissing you, League One logo. I cannot wait to fucking see you next season and have all these new grounds to go to. It's going to be such an it's going to be such an exciting, a worthwhile experience for me taking all these new grounds in. It, that's part of football, going to new yeah. places that you've never done. I've done all the like Championship and Premier League grounds. I now want to, and I'm going to be getting it new grounds, but also at the same time, mm. uh, it, it's this fate is deserved at the same time as much as I want League One football anyway for. Uh, <laughs> 
we have to, we like I said, we've got we've already gone about this the reset, but if we don't do a successful reset, we could even be a bottom <laughs> half, a bottom half League One team, bottom half, or even. No, terribly. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. No, no. I you, just that far. you just don't. You just don't. You just don't. We're not that bad. We're not that bad. Just, we are. But what happens if we do? In my opinion, do... with the club that with the team that we've got, we are a top half league one team. But if there isn't a reform and we don't do the things that are needed to be done, then we would be a bottom half league one team. Uh, well, no joke, no joke. We, we it's going to be no be surprise at all. Going to be no surprise at all. Despite our heritage, our size of the club, yeah, we're going to be one of the biggest clubs in that league. Yeah, it's going to be no surprise if we just don't fight for top six. You know, which we need to be on paper. But if we're, yeah. if we're not, would it, 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 it? Other clubs have seen, yeah, what it's like to go down a League One. It's an unforgiving league. What it's like to get back up to Champions from that league. Derby, the, Portsmouth. Other, other clubs have seen that. And we're mm -hmm. probably going to be one of the next, you know. Sunderland. Oh, Sunderland, oh, okay. Sunderland is such a big example. You know. <laughs> this, club, this, cl this club deserves relegation. We, we can only fight relegation for so There's long no before, no before you go... Before you go down that plug hole, you can only fight it for so long. We are getting our just rewards. Yeah, you know, time after time when we've stayed up, we've not done the necessary correct things to get up that table and avoid being near that that dotted line again. Mm. We deserve it. Relegation is ready. We're on the verge now. We're on the verge of it. I put League One logo again. Mm. League One logo, I fucking love you. Look so looking forward to League One grounds next season. Aidan's just put a comment on saying, Chris, I guess I'm guessing you're not happy about three ten coach trips for it switch. Oh, Aidan, you know me too well, Aidan. Uh I don't think there'll be uh, uh... carry on, Chris, carry on, buddy. Please get your face back up on the screen. I want I want you to be on the screen. Oh my god! I, I don't think we'll talk for much longer, Pricey. I just feel like it's all good. good. It's no, it's me. It's me. My mum came in. So yeah, but so, uh, Aiden's also just put over. I know. You're not happy no, with the hip switch. He needs to be. He, he needs to be sending Nagel to get rid of Cartwright Edwards and put together a League One standard side. I am not happy about the. Uh, the free travel dresser, Aiden. You know me too bloody well, lad. You know me really well. What might, but I don't think there's going to be a mad rush now. You know, who wants to go and see a passionless git, git even if you're handing it on the plate for free? Who want a group to go see a group of players who don't connect with their fans and who don't give a fuck about their fame? I am great. Right. I am just right now just seeing uh, I'm just going on an update. I'm just going on to our website now to see what's happening with the with the coaches, you know. I think we're still on coach. It was on coach two earlier, you know, before the match, and it's still mm. on coach two. So that shows <laughs> that people are gonna go. I think that's well that's good enough evidence that that they Mm. Aidan's also put another comment on saying that we should give we should have given the job to Worthington until the end of the season, but you know still trying to still keep him in in the B team after. Well, I had I that's why I had a word with one of the lads from Council Loyal. I said, mm. Mm. "Look, we've made two huge huge mistakes, two huge mistakes this season. We all know, and we all go on about it." But it's important to go on about it because this is why we are here. It's as simple as that. Um, Worthington, yes. But before that, Darren Moore. 
same amount of experience as what Brighton Wright has got. Right. I think we expected a little bit too much of Darren Moore when he first came in. I can say that. We should have sacked Darren Moore a lot earlier. Yes. So yes. Another reason, massive reason. Um, be in this you, you, time, time is everything. If you delay it too long, it, it can have such a bad impact. The longer you mm. leave it, time is everything, you know, with the decision making. If you leave it too late, it can just have such a bad impact. And there we see it. Do you know what? We should mm. not have pushed one of the greatest managers to ever touch the English game, Neil Warnock. Why did we treat him like fucking shit and shove him out? Yeah. And they yeah. Act as, and act as if they knew what they were doing, getting rid of get and getting, you know. Who, who, y yes. Mm. I hope Neil Warnock, the great, great man, Neil. Yeah. He's, he's laughing. He's, 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 he's laughing. He's yes. I'm, I, I think he'll be watching our, our fall, our fall, you know, in through the trap door. Mm. Uh, with, with a lot of uh, smiles on his face, you know, knowing oh, if only that plonker near gone and I got. Yeah, literally. And, um... I think, yeah, they had a problem with how uh, uh, Neil Warnock was speaking about that window last summer, you know. You know, yeah. Yeah, Neil Warnock is never afraid to come out and say his piece and say how he is. They shouldn't have. I think there was. Some th things behind the scenes, you know, that were unsettling, and they just, they just, dec they just decided, no, we can't do with Neil talking about us like this. Says we're getting rid, of we're pushing him out. Mm. But, but at the same time, this is what's cost them, you know. Uh, right? I don't think we will talk for much longer. I've got another, um, I've got another message from Bunny in the Box. Hi lads, I think we're joining you. Brum, Brummy fan. Another gutless performance against the worst side in Division 2. Shots on target. Fuck's sake. We need to get six points. Oh, um, it, 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 does it... Those Wednesday will get six points from well, from the next two games. That's that's a big statement, that. We've got, the, the, those, We've got Norwich as well to go. That's that's a huge statement. The, those words, those words sound as if... goal difference. The, the, those words sound as if that... Birmingham had a terrible performance at the New York Stadium, like we did when we went there. Yeah. No, it's. it's... Do you know what? I'm just fed up of it now. It could, it could well be, you know, that Wednesday do actually get above us, and it's Brumme and us who who go down. Uh, go go. Well, I know what me and you, Price. Eh? Me and you, fellow League One predictor, we know we're down yeah. But it could, I think it could actually, it could be burning and that join us, you know. If, if Sheffield Wednesday really take good use of that game at Blackburn, that could go a long way to deciding that it's us two, us and Brummer, that go down. I think it very much will be. Well, right, I, I think we're going to end right. on that one, guys. So um... yeah, it, right. I, I will just do my <sighs> funny, my my funniness again. You know, with the League One logo. One more time before I head off. League One logo. League One logo. I fucking love you. I can't wait to have all these new grounds to go to. And Bristol Street Motors Trophy. I'm actually looking, really looking forward. You know, to to seeing you next season as well. <laughs> Playing. I think it. also, you know, the. Right, so got, before we actually go, we've got to do this. Prediction time. Let's do games. So, Chris. Obviously, we've got Birmingham next. All right, then. Do you know what? I don't, ah. want, to I don't want to predict them. I want to leave it to you. Yeah, I know. Go. I'm going to, go, I'm go, going to go, leave it go, to go, me because I've got them all right pretty much. I've had my predictions right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, well, predict. Predict the last two of this misery, torrid season. Go. We're going to draw to Burham, to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw and to then Burham. I and I think I know what's going to come or, out of your lips or, next. Potentially, I reckon, if, 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 if either team does win, if either team does win, right, it'll be 1-0 to either team, or it'll be a 0-0 nil -nil draw. Because that's all that he'll have in it. But really, right, right, I right. think it's going to be a draw I, 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 or a 1-0 loss. Really. I, I think I know what's going to come out of your lips for the Ipswich game. This is such an easy one to predict. But still. And Ipswich oh. are going to lose, I reckon, 3-0, 3-1, 4-1. 
Don't give us a go. I wouldn't even give us a go. Our bunch is so damn spineless, toothless, you name it. I wouldn't even give us a go. We don't even know how to score goals. We don't, we're don't. we not a goal-scoring team. Hey, um, the goal difference has took another battering again. It's minus 27. 27 now. <laughs> Deserves to go down. Right, right, right. Uh, 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 audience. It has been a pleasure doing this, especially for me, because I know how close I am to many new grounds next season. Bristol Street Motors Trophy. I'm looking forward to that as well. That that it doesn't matter how Tim Pot that Bristol Street Motors Trophy is. I'm looking forward to it. And FA Cup first round, I'm looking forward to joining it at the first round. You know, because League One and Two clubs, as you know, Pricer, they joined the FA Cup at the first round. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'll just have a quick say on this as well about the FA Cup. I don't think like that the replays are scrapped. The big six are only thinking of themselves. They 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 think is as if that football only only that only it, it, football only exists to the top six, and football doesn't exist outside of the top six clubs. I do not agree with mm. FA Cup replays. I think FA Cup replays should stay up, like it should just stay or. Uh, it's just they're just thinking of themselves, the big so big six, right? Then we, 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 it's been a pleasure doing this 24 hours sooner. See you soon, League One. So looking forward to it. We're very, very close, right? Price there. We'll see what we'll see what shite we've got to discuss again, uh, in a week's time, you know, against Brummer. Uh, thanks for jo thanks for joining us. We both appreciate the what the watchers who are watching it now and are watching the video later on. See you later. Enjoy your evenings from two League One predictors. Goodbye. Cheers, guys. Thank you, and I hope you have a really nice evening. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it.